My name is Katya Bunyatishvili, I'm a pianist. And my first time in Verbier was when I was 16 years old. And I was probably the happiest person in the world to be here because I met here people that I admired during whole my life and was trying somehow to listen to them in live performance or to speak with them or you know just to share some moments with them. And all these wonderful and magic things happened in Verbier for me when I was 16 years old. My mom was always listening to music or she was performing herself on piano or guitar or she was singing or composing for us. So when I was born already, musical atmosphere was at home. And my sister is also a pianist, she's one year older, and we're performing as well together quite often. Now I try, even if I have one week of vacation, to go there and to visit my family or friends or country. I think when you hear all the time polyphony, and they say in Georgia, for example, if one person starts to sing and child, for example, Georgian child wants to make, is looking for second and third voices, it means that it's a pure Georgian child because we already have sense of polyphony already since we are children. So this is something quite important for piano, I guess, because I think polyphonical Thinking is very important for pianists because it's quite intellectual music. It's not just singing or playing beautifully one voice in uh, on violin. It's also to hear everything what happens because there are many, many voices there which each of them has important meaning. So, well, actually, I replace. Uh, Marta Argerich, uh, which is which doesn't mean anything because it's impossible to replace Marta Argerich. <laughs> but um, well, everybody knows that I love her, right? So I don't need to repeat it again and again. Uh, but uh, I'm really glad that I have opportunity first time to play with uh, Yuri Bashment, which is someone quite special. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, being aware that there is a public there, and you know this very well. And sometimes you forget, of course, as you can walk sometimes, and you f you can forget where are you walking. I it's uh, something quite human. It's nothing divine in it. I can also hear some noises if there is mobile phone ringing or so on. But somehow I'm switched off um, with my reaction. So I don't have. I'm not reacting to this. I don't have reflexes on that. Even if there is, I guess, a boom there, or you know, something. <laughs> something horrible or something very beautiful. I, I try, and I guess I can do this, uh, not to react and not to have reflexes on this. There are so many different feelings that you feel during concert because you are surrounded only by sounds and whole concentration in the whole of, you know, 2,000 people or 200 people um, in both situations, they're concentrated on your sound, the sounds that you actually provide. So when you concentrate so much just on sounds, it's true that some strange things, strange feelings you can discover in yourself. And especially when you're doing this uh, almost every day, it's true that you can develop one side of yourself which was not probably developed before. <laughs> 